Hello ladies and gentlemen, and today I'm going to bring you Team Deathmatch 12, where I successfully get 18 kills and 8 deaths. In this match I will also be playing with two of my clan members, which one does good and one of them does bad unfortunately, which gets 4 and 11. So he was still an early level, so really it wasn't that much to be fair that saying he does bad in the game because he was still getting used to the game really also on the other hand um, I am still working on prestige and um, I'm still working on my special ops I've got some survival gameplay coming up for you guys also um, the thing is really I, I do have some good survival gameplays really but some of them are actually like annoying because the thing, the thing I have realised with survival is that the, the juggernaut, he is so annoying, he always tries to take you out, especially when you get on the high waves, plus 20 plus, for example, you will get a juggernaut and you will get an, also a helicopter coming in and then you will also get a wave of people at the same time, which is actually really annoying. And as you can see, I'm not really talking about the gameplay, um, which... I'm sorry about that really because in the gameplay I do have quite a not a too bad start but quite a slow start which also does lead to having a good kill streak at the end and I do actually get a UAV with and I think I have my payload on but I don't think I get this match but I might do which is quite good and I'll let that be a little surprise for you guys to see if I actually get it or not as you can see I do have five my five kill streak going on and if I did think I got the pave low it would have been like a really high kill streak because you do need like I think it's 11 kills for a pave low which is actually quite hard to get on dome and as you can see here I do have seven and I do only need only four kills but to have four, four more kills in, in your kill streak on dome is actually quite hard cause such a little map and everyone's shooting everywhere and I think, yep, I do die right now. Which was quite annoying because them fencings there really are annoying and it does get in my way quite a lot. Which does actually annoy me because, like, when I'm inside, I do try to throw a Semtex out and it will actually get in my way, which isn't annoying. And the Semtex could, would get stuck onto the fencing. And. It also would like le deny me the kill really as you can say that and as you can see there I do get another assist and there you go for example the Semtex has got stuck onto the fence and as you can see now I did get two assists for a kill which is good and that's also building up my kill streak as I've told you in previous episodes of my team death matches and my gameplays of online on Modern Warfare 3. Also, I do actually go to rely on the Barrett quite a bit in the game because I did actually get quite bored of the UMP. As you can see, I was dying and it was actually really annoying. And Scorpion is actually one of the best Akimbo guns which they have ever put in uh, Call of Duty, I've ever, I actually think. As you can see here, I am actually getting shot at. And I think I do take out one guy, maybe both of them, but as you know, I got flashed. And I am still working on taking the lead with my team. As you can see, we are losing by only like a couple couple kills. So it's not that much. I really need someone to have a little good kill streak and we will be able to take the lead. But um, successfully we do win at the end of the game and as you can see there is someone here as you and I can't really see him as he was kind of camouflaged and he actually went then down then which was still hard to see him even though I found him the first time it was quite hard to find him the second time as you can see he was down like on final stand as you can call it and he was just wearing something like greyish sort of colour to blend in with the sand or, and the cement with the grass around here so it was still hard to see him and as you see here I'm getting some really good kill there with my Semtex as I was blinded and I didn't even know what I was doing I was just throwing the Semtex anywhere just trying to get the kill 
Um, unfortunately, I do die here after this guy was camping on the floor, which I really hate um, campers. And we are getting back into the game. As you can see, it is a nice draw coming up, and we uh, take the win. Waiting for the win now. I'm going to go in now. And as you can see, I have got my MP5, which is actually quite high firing gun, which does help a lot, especially on a map like this because you do need to shoot quite fast instead of using a gun such as a CM901 which has got um, high bullet damage and low fire rate and an MP5 hasn't got that much high bullet damage but yeah it's got quite um, a good um, fire rate of bullets and as you can see here we are winning and we only need three more kills for the win and as you can see here I do get the game winning kill for the team hope you like it and make sure you like comment and subscribe thank you